Welcome to this video explaining how to get started with the QRS API for ClickSense. You need an installation of a ClickSense server either on your local machine or on a VM. You will need to download Fiddler on the machine where you have the Sense server installed. This can be accessed from www.telerik.com forward slash downloads forward slash Fiddler or simply put Fiddler into Google. To make it easier, enable HTTP on the proxy. Go to the QMC, go to proxies, edit the central proxy, click on ports in the menu and check allow HTTP. Now we want to see which API call is needed to reload a task. So start Fiddler, open the QMC on HTTP on the server, then go to tasks. Reload one of the tasks you find there using the start button. When you have started the task, go back to Fiddler and look for your host name in the host column. Look in the URL column and see if you can find something related to task and start. Somewhere you should find a URL called QRS task start many question mark XRF key equals. Click on that line and on the inspectors tab in Fiddler and on headers in the submenu. In the top we can see the URL and the method type post QRS task start many question mark XRF key equals. So now we know the URL and we know that it is a HTTP post call we need to use. The XRF key can be randomly generated. We just need to have a parameter in the header of our request called X click XRF key, where the value is the same as specified in the URL. The XRF key needs to be 16 characters long. You can see the different header parameters too. Part of them need to be set when using the API. Click in the JSON submenu. Here you can see the data in the core. In this case, a unique GUID for the task you started earlier. Before we can wrap this into code so we can automate it, it is a good idea to check exactly what is necessary to include in the code. Search on Google for Postman, an app for Chrome, and install it. Make sure that the bookmark bar is visible in Chrome. On the left-hand side of the bookmark menu, you find Apps. Click on Apps and click on Postman. Postman lets us try to simulate our request. First, you need to have an open session in the QMC. The user you are logged in with needs to have access rights to reload the app. When we use this kind of authentication, we have to start with an HTTP GET request, even though we want to do an HTTP POST to reload our task. Fill in this URL to send an about request to the ClickSense server. Making sure the server name is your server name and the XRF key is the one that you copied from Fiddler. Click on the headers. For header one, ensure you have content type and a value of application JSON. And then for the second header, ensure you have X click X RF key and a value that's equal to the key that we saw from Fiddler.
Make sure that the type is get. Click send and look at the response body. It should look like this. Now try to add a one at the end of the URL and press send. Now you will see an error because the XRF key in the URL and in the header are not the same and more than 16 characters long. So remove the one again and now you are ready to test the request to reload the task. Fill in the full URL found in Fiddler, but change the host name to your host name. Change the request to be a post request. The header have to be the same as in the get request. Click on body, raw, and then paste in the task GUID. Change it to your GUID. It can be found under the raw tab in Fiddler. Press send and check if you see a status 204 no content. Go back to tasks in the QMC and refresh the list. Last execution time on the task should be the time when you press the send button. You are now ready to wrap this into code. Watch the video, Getting Started with QRS API Part 2. Thanks for watching this video.